Hi everyone and welcome to my second unboxing video. Like the previous video, I messed this one up and I'll tell you why a little later. I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the Tracer Model T. This is a cryptocurrency cold storage wallet. Compared to hot storage, which is connected to the internet, cold storage is actually safer, not connected to the internet and it can't be hacked. I'm gonna be showing you the three ways you can store your currency going from most risky to least risky. So if we look at Coinbase, I have around $800 worth of cryptocurrency. Coinbase can be hacked. I guess, I don't know if it has happened before, but you hear a lot of stories about people, their accounts getting hacked, they're losing their crypto forever. So if you store it here, there is risk. If we go second risky or second safest, let's say, you can store it on an app on your phone. So you can transfer out of Coinbase, so Coinbase won't get hacked, but your phone can get hacked because it is connected to the internet. If you want to go safest, you will go to the Ledger Nano S, which I did a video on previously, or the Tracer Model T. I'm gonna be including an Amazon link to this below, so you can grab one if you want, or you can grab the Tracer, I think the original one, let's see, what is the original one? The Tracer one or the Tracer Model T. So. This is around $250. It does come with the screen. That's kind of why I wanted it. But um, I'm gonna be going through everything with you guys. Let's start right now. So unboxing, obviously I messed this one up. So it says the safest place, the safe place for your coins. I do like this box. So it, it does give you the steps right at the top. Connect Tracer to your computer. Open tracer.io slash start. Follow the instructions and sleep tight. So one thing I like about the Tracer it has this little, hold on, let me fix my zoom. There we go. You can connect it to your fridge. You can, it has this little magnetic part. I'm not sure what I would do with this, but pretty cool nonetheless. So it has this safety tape. If it doesn't have this, which I already broke it, your, your tracer has been compromised and you should probably return it or get a new one. So I did rip this off. It is kind of messy and I'll get a, I'll get a new one actually. Um, let's see what else is in here. So, um, if we open this up, okay. Okay, so it has, oh my God. So it has a bunch of swag, I guess. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, a bunch of stickers, not sure what all this is for. Um, okay, and it says your personal recovery seed. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. So device label, this recovery seat is a backup of all your keys. There we go. It's 12 words and you can write this down. Okay, what else is it giving me here? Treasure mod, oh yeah, so it's just giving me another, another place to write my recovery seat, no big deal. So the reason why I had to restart this was the USB-C cable they gave you was like three inches long. My desktop is down <laughs> under my desk, so it didn't really work, so I had to restart. I did end up having to buy a longer USB-C so that I could um, connect it to my computer. But let me show you guys, there's right now, there's two ways, oh, this is gonna fall. Right now, there's two ways you can connect or store your cryptocurrency on the Tracer Model T. If we go to tracer.io forward slash start, it'll give you this prompt. So you can go, I have the Tracer One, I have the Tracer Model T. You can do it on the PC, on the web browser. You don't have to download anything. But if you want, which I think is preferable in my mind, downloading the Tracer Suite. So if you go suite.tracer.io, you can have a desktop app just like the Ledger Nano S and you can download everything. So what I do like, Oh man, native altcoin. You can add different coins, dozens of brand new features. They're constantly updating, which is pretty good. So let me let me actually get started. I'm wondering what else should I teach you guys before I get started. Let's talk about the recovery seed. So what I was really worried about is that what happens if I lose this? So if I have a recovery seed, what's the point if I lose this and it all gets damaged, it all gets stolen? So let's say it's in my pocket, I end up washing it, I end up losing everything. But having the physical wallet is not as important as your recovery seed. So if we look here, if your device is lost, damaged, stolen, you can use your recovery seed to restore access to your wallet, passwords, and other data associated with it. So as important as this is to keep safe, it's not as important as the recovery seed. You can just get another device and recover and back up all your cryptocurrency, all your information with the recovery seed. It's important to keep this safe. 
as this is the master key. Anyone with access to it can access your data. So again, very important. Don't let anyone have access to this. So let's move all this out of the way and let's connect and see what happens. Okay. Starting up. Okay, go to treasure.io forward slash start. So what I'm going to do, let's download this first, get the desktop app. Okay, I'll put this down. Maybe I'll fast forward through this boring installing part. All right, that was quick, probably took around 30 seconds. Welcome to the Treasure Suite, the one place for all your crypto matters. Let's begin. Okay. All data is kept strictly anonymous. We will only use it to improve usage data. I don't want. You can toggle this if you want them to use your data. Nah, I'm going to say nope. Okay, set up device. We'll guide you through the process. Use device. So I'm going to set up, create starting or coming back. So if you have you if you have a seed or backup. Oh, so this is if you've damaged or lost, this is where you would come. You'd buy another one. This is where you would come to recover your wallet. I'm going to create a brand new wallet. So um, because I've already done this, I already kind of messed this step up. If you've never used it before, you'd go, I'd never used this Tracer before. They will download a firmware on your Tracer to make sure it's real and to update it to the most current version. But I already, I've already done this just like half an hour before. So I already installed the firmware. I'm going to go skip checks. Your Tracer is almost ready. Okay. The device has firmware installed. Oh no, I didn't mean to click on that. Continue. Okay. Your standard seed or advanced seed. I'm going to be go standard seed of 12 English words. Follow the instructions. Okay. So if we go here, let me fix the zoom again. Do you want to create a wallet? I'm going to say yes. Needs backup. Okay. And then we have to go back to here, create backup. Your wallet's almost ready. This is the only way to recover a lost wallet. Okay, I guess we have to create a backup. There we go. Okay, your treasure will generate a list of words which you will need to write down. Yes, we know this and we are ready. You have enough time to back up your wallet. Yes, you are in a safe place, private place, <laughs> away from cameras. Uh, yeah, no one can peek over my shoulder. You are responsible for keeping your backup safe. Yes, skip backup and pin. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Begin backup. Follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, so never make a digital copy. I understand, never upload it online. Write down these 12 words. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys these two words right now. I am going to transfer around $10 to this and then wipe it, so this is not as important to me. Write down these 12 words. You can see the first one is you, second one is office. Not as, you know, it's not like some made up words. You're gonna have to write these ones down. These will be your recovery seed. So I'm going to write these down and I'll come back in just a few minutes. So once you've done, once you're done with those 12 words, they will actually test you. They'll give you a kind of a multiple choice question, asking you what's the first word, what's the sixth word, what's the 12th word. So I'm going to do that now and come back in around 30 seconds. Okay. And if we take a look now, it says you have finished verifying your recovery seed. So I wrote down the 12 words and then I passed their multiple choice question. I'm going to go continue. Your backup is done. Use your backup when you need to recover your wallet. Great. Pin not set. Okay, now let's go take a look at what it says here. Backup completed. Write down. Remember, if you lose your recovery seed, your funds are gone forever. There's no way to restore a lost backup. That's fine. Review your seed. Never take a photo or digital copy. That's fine. Keep your seed private. Let's go create a pin. Okay, so now we'll go create pin. So here, do you really want to enable pin protect protection? So that means people probably can't even have access to it, even if they have it and they plug it into their computer, but they give you the ability to create a four digit pin, which I will do right now. There we go. You have successfully enabled pin protection. Let's go over here. All right. Now what? Pin set, complete setup, setup complete, access suite. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at this now. BTC. Okay. Um, there's not much. Oh, receive. I like this. We have an ac access right now to receive cryptocurrency. Let's go do that right now. If I go receive, 
this will show me, okay, it'll show me full address. Confirm on tracer. Oh, no, wait. So I guess just to make sure that what shows up on your tracer is actually on the computer and you don't have a fake program or you've been hacked or something, it does make sure, it does want you to verify, which it does look correct. So I'll click over here. Okay, so this is your public seed. This is what you will give people receiving address when you want to receive cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna show you how to receive, how to store cryptocurrency from Binance and from Coinbase onto your Trezor Model T. So I'm already logged in here. Uh, you know what, let's start with, let's do, let's do Binance. So obviously when you're in Binance, go to wallet, fiat and spot, and then it'll bring you up to this menu, deposit or withdraw. So I'm going to withdraw. Now it gives me all these prompts. So obviously I only have Bitcoin and VeChain. Make sure you're selected Bitcoin. I want, oh, look at these fees. Oh, wow. So if I were to transfer, recipient's address. This is the address that I copied from here. Copy address. I'd paste it here. This is the exact address. What do I want to transfer? Is there a max button? Max. There we go. How much is this? Available amount the receiver will get. Okay, this is, can't be fee $25. Am I missing something guys? Someone let me know. Am I messing this up? Why is it $25? Okay, so I will go Submit, ooh, the amount of withdrawals. I can't, I'm not transferring enough. Okay, I guess I don't have enough Bitcoin. Interesting, well, this is how you will transfer from Binance. If we go to Coinbase, I do have enough money in Coinbase. So if we want to transfer cryptocurrency from Coinbase to our Trezor Model T, you will not go buy and sell, you'll go send and receive. If you want to receive, obviously on Coinbase, this is what you will do. If you were transferring from your storage hard wallet into Coinbase, this is the address, but we'll be sending. I'm gonna go back here, make sure this address is copied. Keep clicking it. Go back to Coinbase. I'm gonna paste this address over, note. Test for YouTube. How much do I want to send? Let's send $20. Let's see what happens. Continue, send now, network fee. Okay, so I guess it will be taking out $24 total. So I guess I'm playing, paying a small fee here. Gonna send now, payment received about 30 minutes. I hope it's quicker, send now. Okay, make sure you have two-step verification enabled. You can see the money already came out. This transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes. Great. If we go back here, I wanna see this pop up eventually. Let me make this bigger. You know what's funny? It didn't ask me to confirm. Oh, I think only when you're sending out, it would ask you to confirm here, but not when receiving, which makes sense. If we play around here, accounts, Bitcoin, these are the abundant, you know, different types of accounts you can create. Account type, native SegWit is, does have the cheapest fees currently. So we'll leave this here. Search, yeah, there's not much. Oh, look at that guys. That was pretty quick. That, was, that must've been less than a minute. So I transferred $20 and then I received 16. So my fee was four. No, you know what? I think this is US dollars. Hold on. If we go here, let's see what this does. Look at this, this hides your, I like this toggle. It hides your information. Okay. If we go here, let's play around with the settings a little bit. Okay, I want Canadian dollars. CAD, okay. Is there an apply button? No, I guess not. Dashboard, there we go. This makes much more sense. So depending on how much, you know, depending on the timing, and which exchange it's coming from. So I think I paid $24 in Coinbase, but I received almost the full amount here. So this is fine. This is exactly what I want to happen. If we just like go around here, I haven't used this much to be honest. I just downloaded this. To be honest, guys, like I'm new as well. I don't claim to be some expert. I am learning on the fly. So I just want to see what is this. This chart doesn't really mean much. 
I want to go around and just play with the settings. Labeling as allows you to rename your address. I don't care about this. Tor, I don't care. Open tracer.io links as onion links. Okay, not interested. Dark mode. Ooh, I like, okay, we're going dark mode, guys. App storage, reset app, sweet version. You're currently running, okay. Is this it? Device. Backup successful, check backup, firmware up to date. This is all pretty, oh, this is where you go if you wanna wipe, interesting. So I'll be wiping all my stuff, all my information right after this. There's not much to do, coins. Let's enable Ethereum. If you have different types of coins, this is where you go turn everything on. Let's turn a bunch of things on and then see what it looks like. Let's go Dogecoin, even though I don't have. So then let's go to dashboard. Okay, so it's loading all the information, but I all have I have zero and everything, which is fine. To be honest, guys, this is pretty pretty straightforward. Like here, here it is. Let's see what happens if I unplug. So when I unplug, it dies. I'm gonna plug it back in. I wonder if it'll give me the chance to put in my pin code. Not connected, tap to connect. There we go. Enter your pin, 16 attempts remaining. I don't know if you guys can see that. So let me put in my pin right now. If you guys take a look, it jumbles up the numbers every time you open it, every time you go to see your pin. So people can't see, people can't be able to trace or recognize your motion, which is interesting. Let me put in my pin off camera. Verifying pin, there we go. And then we're online. Please type in your passphrase on the connection host, passphrase entry. I don't want to. If we go here, standard wallet hidden passphrase. So what I heard about this, what I really like about the Model T, you can have a standard wallet, which is what everyone would see. This is the 12 word phrase. And then you have a hidden wallet. You can create two wallets in here. One, let's say you do get robbed or someone you know forces you to tell them your your code or they find your your recovery seed you can tell them your standard wallet and let's say you put a hundred dollars in there they'll take your hundred dollars worth of bitcoin it sucks but the most important thing you have a second hidden wallet that they don't see you have a 13th word a 13th phrase that will act, allow you access to this hidden wallet hopefully where you'd keep most of your bitcoin safe this is pretty interesting i really do like this um, let's go here. I wonder why it's not, okay, there we go. So, you know, less than 20 seconds after I plug it in, it shows up, shows my balance. This is awesome. I really like this. I am going to keep this safe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm, I might buy one more cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency storage wallet just to test it out for you guys. I'm not sure what else I'll be doing. I do, I am planning on reviewing a few more Canadian only currency exchanges just to let you know which one's the best, which one's the easiest. Um, ShakePay is pretty good, but they only offer two coins. Hopefully I will be doing a review on, I think it's Virgo CX, Virgo Crypto Exchange. Um, but yeah, tune in, tune into that one. So this is, might be, this is my fourth cryptocurrency video, fourth or fifth. I might do one or two more before I go back into stocks. Hopefully this helped you guys. It is pretty straightforward. Allows you to transfer from Coinbase, from Binance pretty, pretty easily, pretty straightforward. So thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.